name is William Salisbury. Today we're going to go over uh, creating Excel BOM exports from uh, piping for piping planes. Okay, we're going to start off with by selecting our sizes and a spec. Do 150 pound. Let's start off with some simple pipe. Let's do a little bit of pipe and create our create our model. Put the out in there. Ball down. Throw in a T. Okay, I'll add a little something else just to give it some complexity. Uh, let's go ahead and tilt it across. Go ahead and add a little something over here. Now we have a fairly complex little little string right here. Go ahead and switch over to our layout where we already have a uh, viewport set up. You want to go ahead and set your viewport to a custom, uh, whatever's the best scale factor for your particular needs. Okay. Now that you have that, we're going to come back here. Catworks, Catworks plant one tab. You're going to go ahead and set up your bill of material. So, um, from these database columns, you can pick any kind of variable to throw into your uh, bill of material. Uh, typically, what we find is that we have a mark, alpha size, um, quantity, especially if you're doing pipe length, uh, length, so you can have the actual distance on the things that have length, and a long description. You can set right here how they are. Uh, if they're centered or if they're left justified and so forth on. Um, after you have that all set up and you can reorganize it, you know, from left to right, which way you want it, up or down. Um, go ahead and save and close. Okay, so now once you have your bill of material set up, set up, <laughs> then you're gonna go ahead and come to export. Now there are options, single item, total length, and cut length. Typically uh, what we do is uh, cut length. So our total length, sorry. That way you add up all the individual pipe components. You don't have an entry for each, each uh, segment of pipe. So we're going to do uh, total length. And you can choose between line number or select components. Uh, in this case, we're going to select all the components we just made. Okay. Okay. So right click to close out of that. Final save location. We're going to save to our desktop. Okay. It's exporting now. Okay, now we've gone ahead and exported the bill of material to our desktop. So we're going to just open that right here. Okay, so now we, you can see we have exported all the, mo all the items from that model to this Excel sheet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just make that bold so it's a little clearer. Um, if you want to change uh, justifications, uh, you can do that right now. Like if I wanted everything to be centered except for my long description. Do that. Um, now, you want, what you want to do is create a window over the uh, the cells that you've created, and you want to go ahead and copy. As you can tell, it makes a little moving dash line around the uh, cells you want to use. Okay, going back to our layout. From our layout, there's a couple different ways we can do this depending on your specific needs. Um, uh, go to your home tab. Uh, you can either click paste special or you can type in the, the command which is paste SPEC. Okay. Uh, paste special lets you do a little bit more than just a regular paste. So I can paste from a link or paste an actual object. So if we're pasting an actual object and you can format it as it automatically prompts you for it in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. While this is good, it's not the best option as I found. Um, typically you want something that you can manipulate a little bit better. Um, this keeps Keeps it, and we'll just go ahead and show you. So there's an Excel sheet. You can scale it up to make it more size appropriate for your project. Okay. Uh, and this, as you can see, still is in an Excel table. It isn't in the file that you copied it from. It's actually embedded within the drawing now. So you can right-click it, OLE, open, and still manipulate the, the data in an Excel format. Um, if if that's desirable, if you want to keep an engineer so they can access this information and modify it from an Excel sheet, uh, you'd want to do that with a link 
instead of doing it with a uh, uh, AutoCAD entity. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Let me show you the more common option that I found to be enjoyable. Instead of pasting it in native Excel, paste it in AutoCAD entities. AutoCAD has uh, the AutoCAD tables if you've never used them. Uh, it lets you build a, an intelligent table in AutoCAD using AutoCAD uh, components. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Now we still copied from that Excel sheet, so this is just a paste from that Excel sheet that already exists. The one downfall on doing it this way is for some reason, I'm sure there's someone out there that's already figured this out, it wants to put the text in on a, on a weird color that it won't let you recolor. So it's, it's invisible from, the, from this perspective. Um, the best way I felt I've dealt with this is just exploding out this, which is not something you always want to do. Exploding is kind of a taboo. Exploding it twice because once you explode it puts it just in native CAD entities, multi-text and lines. But the multi-text still retains that, that unchangeable color. So you explain again. That second explosion gives you your text and you can come to your properties menu and switch your color to white black. The white, the default white for uh, AutoCAD. So as you can see now we have our bill of material brought into our layout space and it only took a couple seconds to do it. Um, you're still going to want to follow up with uh, tagging out your <laughs> tagging out your piping plan and that'll uh, uh, that'll only take a few minutes. You can also do BOM uh, export in the CAD model and that will uh, allow you to see the little tiny uh, bubble tags make it a little bit quicker. That should be it so hope you enjoy.